Hi, Peter Charles here for Fly Fly Fishing. And today we're going to tie a fly called the Sanctuary. Now this is a relatively simple fly using a dub body. It's sort of a nymph, uh, wet fly combination. Some people call those flimps. So it's sort of in that kind of class of fly. I consider this a, a caddis imitation. Uh, so uh, let's get tying and look at the materials. We're going to use a size 8 uh, traditional wet fly hook, but you can tie this on smaller as well. Today we're going to be using my Uni 6 op Black for thread, and let's talk about thread for a second. I don't normally like to get into uh, talking about brands too much, because I don't really have any uh, affiliation with anything. However, I find that this Vivas thread is very strong, lays on the hook great, it looks great when you tie with it, but it's very slick. Uh, uni thread has some roughness to it, which is why I'm going to use it today for that dub body. I think it's, it'll do a better job for us. The rib uh, and the tag is a small gold or extra small gold. We're going to use uh, this dark hair's ear uh, fur for the body and we're going to be using some mottled hen for the hackle. So let's get tying. Since this is a dub body, I mean, you can you know, take some shortcuts and you can start tying right at the back of the hook if you wanted to. Okay, for our rib. Okay, get that out of the way. Now I'll we'll bring our tag forward. This is also going to be our rib. Okay, just fold it back. Okay, now we're going to tie a dubbing loop. And you see how I'm locking the dubbing loop in place? There's a reason for that. If you uh, don't lock it in place, it can come loose on you. So I've put some hackle pliers at the bottom of this to help spin them up. I'm using hackle pliers today. I actually do have a dubbing spinner, but I'm not going to use it because I want you to see what it looks like if you use hackle pliers instead. So I'm just going to put a little bit of dubbing wax on here. You can wet your fingers as well, just don't lick your fingers to do it. And you can spin the dubbing pliers. Make a rope. Fill in any bare spots. There we go. Now we can begin winding. Now for our rib. And finally we're going to tie in our hen. And you can see I've prepared the feather. I've stripped one side and I've created a little triangle for a tying in point. Let's take 30 seconds to talk about hackle pliers. I have three here. And if you've seen my last video, you saw me break a quill. And you've seen me break quills in other videos, too. This particular kind of uh, hackle plier is very powerful, and it's heavy. And it, it was great for quick, um, uh, thick quills and anything else where we need to really bind on tight. You can get a good grip with this kind of pliers. This particular kind with the pads at the end are sort of a little less grippy, a little lighter, a little easier to use. And then you have this teardrop style, which is the lightest of the lot and has very little grip. Usually the grip of this is less than the breaking strength of the quill, which is what I'm going to use on this one. I'll use the teardrop. And uh, I can keep a light touch with the teardrop. There we 
jump. And just pull up them. Whoops, see, it, that's what I'm talking about with the lack of grip. This does not grip like um, the other hackle pliers do. Okay, whip finish. And finally, some head cement. There you go, the sanctuary. Very simple fly. It'd be quite effective for that kind of uh, color scheme with the mottled brown hen and that dubbed body. I think it looks very buggy. And so if you're looking for um, a fly that's a uh, wet fly that's more of a natural look than some of the brighter attractor patterns, I think the sanctuary is a good choice. So there you go. Have at it. Give it a try. Cheers.